Ooh, makeup's in. Um, I've had a lot of people say that using bonding glue for your eyelashes is unprofessional, but it's the only thing that works. I don't know what else there is. I've tried duo lash, I've tried everything else, it doesn't work. So yeah, I think it is a sin, but I personally can't let it go. Hi, my name is Danielle Alicia, and you are watching Behind the Glow. If I'm brutally honest, uh, my initial goal was not to become a makeup artist. I went to work in um, support work, so I worked with like vulnerable women and men with like mental health issues. I worked with people involved with like sex trafficking, things like that. I think 2017 was when I properly started. So a lot of it was um, trade for print at first. So I've done, done a lot of free work, done a lot of makeup on friends and family just to boost my portfolio and put work out. And literally from there, it just grew and grew and grew and I got better. I invested in my kit and yeah, it's, I think the rest is history at the moment. I would say the three most important things to create in a soft glam look would be one, definitely your brushes. Good brushes are key to any makeup look. Two would be your skincare, your skincare products, your skincare routine. Are you using the right products for your type of skin or your client's type of skin? And three would definitely be a great foundation. So as a makeup artist, I do um, editorial makeup, commercial makeup and bridal makeup and I do find that bridal makeup is probably my favourite which is quite funny because a lot of people won't say the same. I think over the past four years I've been blessed to have like really amazing brides, really enjoy the experience, it's been really intimate and you tend to be quite um, a significant part of their big day. I think when working on set it can be a little bit stressful, especially if you've got like a big production, um, working with like hundreds of crew members, pre-COVID of course. Um, I do find that being like sort of rushed sometimes is a little bit stressful and also working with so many people around, like there's no really personal space, but that's what you get for working on a big set. I would say I make sure I know what I'm doing, I know my brief, I know what they require, require sorry, so I'm not asking too many questions. I make sure I um, manage my time so I'm not spending too, too long on one look. And yeah, I think it, it works in my favour and I manage to smash every look or every production that I'm involved in. Being a black makeup artist on set is a lovely experience. But at the same time, you do get told a lot of stories which do make you feel quite disheartened, especially of, you know, black models or influencers who have been left out when it comes to things like hair and makeup or have been suggested to provide their own, say, foundations or hairstylists or making sure their hair's done before they come, whereas other models may have, you know, someone to do their hair or makeup. I wouldn't say it's a privilege because I don't want to feel that I'm... I feel that I should be here. I feel that there's enough space for me. I feel that I've worked hard enough to get to where I am. And I pride myself in being able to cater to all. I turn up on set, I have my kit ready. I don't necessarily need to see pictures of the models beforehand. I know that there is at least one shade of makeup in my kit to provide to anyone of any color. And I just wish that was more broad. I wish that was sort of the case all round but it's not it is you know 2021 and it is disappointing to know that there are a lot of us in these spaces but sometimes we may not be the ones getting hired me personally i'm making sure that i work towards the goals that i want to do to become more of a commercial artist and making sure i'm on sets where i can make women of color feel that they're being looked after one piece of advice I have for any aspiring makeup artists or creators alike would be make sure you believe in your source. Just make sure you have a reason behind what you're doing and why you're doing it because no one is going to provide that reason for you. 
Um, sometimes we get caught up in thinking, oh, someone didn't share my post or like my content, but why are you doing it? Are you doing it for people to like your stuff or are you doing it because it's your passion and this is what you truly want to do? I would also say to just be professional at all times. I think that's something that has helped me because this industry is not easy and there will be times when people will critique your work, they will tell you things that you don't like to hear, but you can you control your own narrative and I think you control your destiny. And we all know how cancel culture works and social media, people are will not hesitate to sort of out you for small things. So even if you know, you're on set or wherever you are, just make sure you know how to take advice. And also it helps you to grow and learn. I think life is a journey and whatever you do, it's always a lesson. So yeah, just be professional all the time. So this look here is one of my favorite looks I have ever done. It was on a model named Nifa for um, a Somali skincare brand. Uh, they are UK based and their name is Sagal Jama. Uh, they make natural skincare products. So I think the client wanted like uh, a look to reflect her brand. So just natural, pure, and that's what I did. So when we get into the look, I made sure like here, I focused on the skin. I made it very, very light not too heavy so not a cakey application of makeup made sure i really blended in the foundation well also with the concealer just here also nothing too light not leaving um, any flashbacks so when you do take pictures it was there was not a lot of editing needed um i also like her natural hair was extremely beautiful so i kind of just like made it bigger just to accentuate her natural features as a beautiful black woman and yeah this picture is one of my favorites i think it's awesome i love how you know i didn't have to use like fake eyelashes or an extremely bold lip to really get the look we did <laughs> 